Hello everybody. We're here. We're going to go ahead and uh, read chapter 3 of the book of Revelation. All right. The church in Sardis. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be careful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, all right, these things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it off, or no man can shut it. Off is not in there. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, write, These sayings saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked, I counsel thee to buy of me gold, Tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with an eye slave, or eye salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup him with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, 
even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. That is chapter 3 of the book of Revelation. All right. I was thinking in my head there. I'm like, wait, today's the fourth. I'm reading chapter three. Then I remembered, oh yeah, Proverbs has 31 chapters. November only had 30 days. So, but uh, we will go ahead and pray. That'll be our Bible reading for today. Tomorrow we'll hit up chapter four. Uh, I, I really love this book. And if you ever want a good teaching on this, um, I'm not sure what uh, style of preaching you like or what uh, you, you learn good from. I can learn from most any biblical preaching as long as there's not a whole lot of extra hacking. Uh, I grew up within, in Free Will Baptist uh, denomination, and there are quite a few preachers in that denomination that hack so much that the message does not get across. Although it is the tradition of or of that denomination or of, of a lot of Baptist denominations, it's almost like they try to learn to hack, but there's, it's sometimes all I, all I hear whenever that happens is, and they can know the Bible better than some of the best scholars out there. But whenever all you do is, you know, it just, I, that's what I hear whenever they hack and, and I grew up with it, and I love Bible preaching, and, and I love fiery preaching, and and I love old hymns. But when you start hacking like that, the the message is lost. Uh, maybe there's somebody who gets something out of that. I don't know how, because they're they're dead set against the gifts of the Spirit, like speaking in tongues. But yet they hack to where you can't even understand what they're saying, which is almost a tongue. Ooh. Maybe I went too far there. Anyways, uh, sorry, just a thought in my head. You can agree or not agree. Guess what? That's your right. But we'll go ahead and see you later. God bless you all. Have a great evening. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come to you today, Lord, and we thank you for everything that you do for us, Lord. We love you, we honor you, we cherish you. We thank you for the wonderful time we had today with our Bible study, Lord. Uh, we thank you for everything that happened. We thank you for the time with mom during dinner and getting a tree plugged in and watching. It's always fun to see her eyes whenever the tree plugs in. Uh, she is like me. She's like, a, 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 I guess the saying is a kid at Christmas because uh, we, just, we just love this time of year. We love the movies uh typically that are on hallmark and things of that nature other people hate them because they they say they're too mushy or gushy or but I, I just love any of those type of movies where it can just be family oriented granted there are quite a few now that are they're 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 stretching it a little too far past the the good family entertainment and they're including aspects into them that maybe does not need to be included in every single film that is put out, but it is part of life and those aspects are out there. So it, it's just, it's, it's this worldly life, Lord. And, but we pray to you that we just remember the reason for this season, Lord. We remember friends. We remember family. We remember the time of giving and peace and joy. And we, we pray that we never lose that joy, Lord. We love you. We thank you for everything. This year is a bit different for us. We are, we are missing a very vital role in our household, Lord, but he is home with you now. And it will be our first year without him, Lord, but we pray for the peace and the joy of knowing that he's no longer in pain and he is with you. It is hard on us down here, but we can't dwell on our sorrow down here because we know he is in a better place with you, Lord. We love you and we thank you for everything. We pray. We love you and we honor you. And in Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. All right, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for chapter four. <laughs> Sorry, you know I'm a wrestling. If you've watched my channel, you know I'm a wrestling fan. So four. Uh, and just something I grew up watching. So it, it is something that I do like. Um, 
we might piddle around out here in the garage for a little bit this evening. It is starting to get cooler. Of course, I do like cooler, but um, it is about 8 o'clock. So I was going to read this while I was out and about today, and I just got sidetracked in uh, doing things while I was out running. But uh, we got, we'll see you all tomorrow. God bless. Bye.